Welcome to Moo Moo Math in Science and Different Types of Fossils. Fossils give us a glimpse into what life was like in the past. In this video, I will cover several different types of fossils, including mineralization, carbonization, molds and casts, trace fossils, and preserved remains. Fossils range from this dinosaur fossil to footprints that are thousands of years old. Up first, mineralization. If an organism dies and is buried under sand and other sediments, minerals may replace the original material. The minerals may replace all of the organism or a part of the organism. Eventually, only the minerals are left behind and will look like the original organism. A good example of mineralization is petrified wood. Next is carbonization. Carbonization forms when a dead organism is compressed over time. As the organism is buried, gases escape from the sediment and carbon is left behind, and all that remains is a carbon outline of the once living organism. Molds and casts. Sometimes an organism will die, and hard parts of the organism, like a bone or a tooth, will make an impression and this impression creates a mold that hardens and you get a permanent record. On the other hand, this impression or mold can fill up and will create a cast, which is a copy of the impression. Take a look at these molds and casts and it will help you see the difference between the mold and a cast. And sometimes you don't even have a record of the entire organism but you have evidence of their behavior. You may find a footprint or a track. Here are several examples of trace fossils. And finally, preserved remains of the original material. An animal may fall in a tar pit and over centuries the tar pit preserves the bones or the trapped animal. Or you may get an insect caught in amber and it will remain in the amber for thousands of years. So there we go, the different types of fossils. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.